Is that better? All right. Uh, Shkayach, first of all, to, to Levy for taking over. Okay. Sure did a fantastic job, as always. Uh, Shkayach, thank you. Uh, all right. So, and usually when I when I come back into it, it like, takes okay. a little time. So, today being Thursday, I didn't expect it to go so fast. So, we're going to get towards the bottom of Amun Bay's, because uh, I figured even though tomorrow is longer, because of Friday, we'd finished up early, but... Today they did a good job of keeping it efficient. But uh, all right, so the two dots on uh, Kufe Amid Aleph. Kufe, oh. Well, oh. so it says, So it says over there, we're talking about a case of a person, uh, Kufe, yeah. 105. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, two dots, like eight, eight yeah, lines yeah. from the bottom or from the top. Yeah. Eight lines from the top. Yeah. So we're talking about a case of a person. He, he has to go ahead and pay back, or he, the guy, he's Michael on it. But let's say he did it, but there's still a, a small amount left. There's a remainder left, less than a pruta. So basically considered to be done because something less than a pruta is not really considered to be mammon, right? That's the definition of mammon is what is money. It has to be a minimum amount. Minimum amount, normally mammon in all cases, unless uh, whatever the reason is different, is a pruta. So I'm a rap papa, uh, We're only talking about the article. Let's say he stole a number of articles, and it, the only mark that, that was remaining that really he still has returned is something that uh when it's not in front of us. But if the item is in front of us, then then you have to go ahead and return it to him. There's still a, a, an obligation to go ahead and return that gazela, even though it's less than a pruta. Why? Because perhaps prices will go up. And therefore, let's say, let's just say a pruta is a dollar. Uh, so let's say this item is only worth 75 cents. Perhaps inflation, right? They'll, they have to, you know, a dozen eggs, less than a dollar. Right? It's 89 cents. But, uh, you know, uh, perhaps it could be with inflation. It could be, uh, you know, $3. Yeah, exactly. It could be like $6 right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm, just, I'm trying to think of an example. So someone just told me yesterday that it was $3. It's going to pay something. Okay. So that's Shemetiaker. So Ikadam is some of the slight uh, different version. Amarat Papa Loishanu, excuse me, Loishna Gazela Kayamas, Loishna Shane Gazela Kayamas. Doesn't make a difference whether the item is in front of us or not. This item is not worth a pruta, and therefore there is no uh, no need to return this item because this item doesn't technically really exist because it doesn't share pruta. Why? Because he's not concerned about perhaps the price might go up, and therefore now it's going to be worth more than a pruta. says Rava Let's say of a huzlu. Let's say someone goes ahead and steals a, um, a three bundles. Right, there were a total of three prutas for huzlu, and they became cheaper. Right, the amdu al and now each one is only worth. Um, 66 cents, right? Each one is 66 cents. So it's a couple, total uh, stolen, right? The value now, the way it was stolen was $2. So let's say he returned two of the objects. So he has to go ahead and return the third one. He stole three bundles. He has to return three bundles. And we have a price that really supports it. So if someone goes ahead, now it's over there, the Kiddush is that even though you have to go ahead and return the third item, even though it's less than a pruta. And similarly, so Gazel Chametz Vavra Lava Pesach. Let's say a person sold Chametz before Pesach, then Pesach then wasn't right. It was owned by a Jew over Pesach, and therefore now it's worthless. So Amelo, you can say to them, Harei Shachal Oh yeah, your Oreos I took before Pesach. Here you can have them back. Didn't eat them, even though they're worthless now. So Tam Isa Beine only because they exist. Oh, let's say Beine. But if they were not in front of us. Even though those specific Oreos, even though they were five dollars before Pesach, but now they are worth zero Pesach. Nevertheless, even though Avagav the Hashal Lev Moina cave on the Mikara Moina, since initially when he stole them, they were five dollars for Pesach. He boy this he has to go ahead and ret- and and, ret- and pay him five dollars. So in other words, like this, if he has the Oreos that the exact ones he stole, he can go ahead and give it back and say, here, here's your object that, that I'm returning. But if he doesn't have it, then he doesn't say, well, the object is worth zero now, so I don't owe you anything. That's not the case. You go ahead and you'll go back while you stole. So Akinami, so to over here in these cases where the bundles got cheaper, Afa got the hash of pruta, even though now the third the third bundle that he didn't return is not worth a pruta anymore. It's only worth 66 cents. 
right? Kavan, the Mikara, Havi Shava Pruta, since in the beginning it was worth a dollar or a Pruta, then then he has to go ahead and uh, return. So, boy, Rabba. So, Rabba asks uh, Akasha. Gazel, stay Agudais Pruta. Let's say he stole two bundles, right, for one Pruta. Right there, the value of two of them was it was a, a total of a Pruta. So each one, in our, uh, in, in our lexicon, we'll say each one was 50 cents. Now, and he returns one of them. Do we say, do we say that now there is no item remaining? In other words, the item is now worth a pruta that he still owes them because it's only worth 50 cents, and therefore he doesn't he has, doesn't pay him back. I do, but all right. In other words, maybe that he didn't return any xalia, the have you got it? In other words, by him returning one bundle, which is only 50 cents, which is not a pruta, so he didn't return anything. So he did do a theft. In other words, the total theft was a pruta. And now what she returned was less than that. So therefore, it doesn't count as a return. So the pashta, after, so, um, so he says, so after he asks it, he asks his own question. Um after he says, Gzela in Khan, right? And Hashava in Khan. So he says, there is no Gzela here. And therefore, uh, since that you steal for less, therefore it's not sinning. So therefore, it doesn't count Hashava in Khan. There is no return. So the Gemara says, I understand. Gzela in Khan, if there's no theft here, right? Hashava Yesh Khan. Then it's like, if there's no theft, then it's, it's like he returned it. Then there's no obligation to return. So he comes to me to say, Afa Pisha Gzela in Khan, even though that there is no Gzela here. And, and he does a, a, a mitzvah hashava in kind. There is no mitzvah of returning because Lamai says since the item is less than a pruta, so therefore it, that even though technically he returns it, he does not even uh, get a mitzvah of returning it. The Yama Rava Hare Yamru so similar case. So Nazir Shegilech there's a mitzvah for a go, uh, for a Nazir to go ahead by his purification process to go ahead and shave his entire head, remove all the hairs. So Nazir Shegilech v'Shayir Shtei Saros he went ahead and he shaved it all. Except for two hairs, loss of like plum. It doesn't count. He didn't right. In other words, the the technical uh, uh, um, uh, uh, shaving right was considered shaving is if you don't leave hair. What is hair? Hair is two hairs. So therefore, if he leaves two hairs, mm -hmm. then that which he shaved, he just shaved a thousand hairs, is not considered to be shaving because he left two. Now, so by Rav so let's say he left two. So, okay, so he still has to do a technical shaving. And a shaving would be, goes ahead and shaves two hairs. That counts as a hair. And therefore, there is technically hair left, too. And he can do a shaving, which is two. But let's say, but let's say, he, so he shaves the first one off. The other one fell off. So was his shaving a shaving? And that was, he did a shaving, and there is no hair left, even though his shaving was not both hairs. So, 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 so he says, Nazir Shidech, Achas. Achas can buy I understand. He's asking, like, a Nazir does one at a time. Like, can you can you go ahead and, and shave one hair, remove one hair at a time? Of course, you can move one hair at a time. And Lemaisa, so he removes one hair and there's no hair left. So, come and buy that. Is that what he's asking the Rabbah? So, I'm like, no, no, that's not the case. So, you go in Shanasha Achas, maybe. He shaved it all. And he had two, except for two hairs. So, he got two hairs left. So, he technically didn't do a shaving yet. Now he has two hairs left. And also, uh, then, then one of those hairs fell out. And then the Gilech Achas. And then he went ahead and shaved the last one. So me and Rina, do we say hashta miyaz halak shear? Now his shaving, that was the only had to go ahead and shave one hair. There was no shear, there was no minimum requirement, which would be two hairs of shaving, and therefore he didn't do a shaving. Right? And ours, or we can say, um, in other words, over here, that there is no, do we say over here that there is no hair left? Or do we say that perhaps he left hair, there was two hairs left, and he didn't do, uh, and the, uh, what's that? Why? So now he left two hairs. And now, when he's going ahead and shaving, there aren't two hairs left. So he's only going ahead and doing a shaving one hair. So other pashta. So afterwards, he answers. He answers no. Seir in kan giluach in kan. Right. So he says no. There is no hair uh, considered in this case. Right. After one of them falls out, and and uh, and also 
uh, this doesn't count as a shaving giluch in Khan. Gemara says he's here in Khan, but if there's not considered to be here there, giluch yesh Khan, right? Then his, his head is considered to be shaved. So that was technically, it's one or the other, right? If there is no hair, then your head is shaved. So if you're telling me he has no hair, then his head is shaved. So this is, so the Gemara answer is now similar to what you said before, how he covered this, what to say. Even though, right, there is no, he doesn't have technically a hair. I, there's one left. Maybe just go ahead and, and remove that last one. There is no Mitzvah of Giluach. The Yama, Rav and Rav says, Hare Amru, he says, a similar case, Chavit Shanikva, Vestuma Shmarim, Hitzilua. So you have a, a, a two story house, and uh, and then you have a hole in one of the uh, the floor, the ceiling, uh, you know, from uh, upstairs, right? So in between, so there's a hole. So if there's tuma on the and then the bottom floor, then someone walks over the hole on the top floor. So the tuma, right? The tuma goes up, right? And if there's no hell over that, then it would spread out on the second floor. So you have to sort of plug that hole. So if there's tuma, it doesn't go ahead and go through. So the shear you need to go, let's say, is a tevach by a tevach. So let's say there was a barrel there. The barrel was used to to to, to block the tuma, and over time the hole became came in the barrel. So, uh, but then the sediment. Of the barrel, they covered up the, you know, like it went to the bottom by the hole and it sort of, you know, blocked the hole. Hitzilua technically has saved the upstairs of Tuma. It blocks the Tuma. That works. The sentiment works to basically be a filler. So, by so what's the question? So, let's say the guy went ahead, he got a hole in the barrel, and he went ahead and filled in half the hole. So, now we know Tuma mm -hmm. needs a requirement. Mm -hmm. uh, a tevach by a tevach to go through. So let's say the initial hole was half a tevach. The tumor would not go through. It's, it's not considered to be a big enough hole for the for uh, uh, for the tumor to go through. So let's say once the hole is big enough of a tevach by tevach, and then it gets reduced to a half a tevach. So basically, do we say? So the question is now: Is his covering? Does he have to do a complete cover to make it zero, or? If he just reduces it from being a tefach by a tefach to less than that, the tumor no longer goes through like it wouldn't have started in the first place. So, boy, Rav Agav, if you went that and he basically put the, you know, uh, 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 patched it up, chatz a half its mouth. Some of the Rav Yemer, the Rav Ashi, Salah, Mishnah, saying, he says, that a Mishnah. So, the Tanawi, then in the Mishnah, the exact thing is, Chavis Shen, he kvavis to Shmarim. So if he had a barrel and there was a hole in the bottom of the sediment of the, uh, covered up the hole that's considered to be saved, in other words, it blocks the tuma. So paka bismara. So let's say there's like a vine there. He wants to go ahead and put a vine, cover up the hole. Ad shimarach until he goes ahead and he uh, he seals it. Now he puts the vine there. In addition to the vine, he has to seal it around so it doesn't come out. And habiba shtayim. If there were two of them, two vines. Until only if there's two vines, so then you just have to go ahead and patch up the sides. And also between the you go ahead and patch it in between the two vines. So Tamad Marach. The reason is because he sealed it. But if he didn't go ahead and seal it, look, then he there if in other words, if he just had the material there and he didn't go ahead and seal it, then it would not work. Am I? But the Haviki Why isn't like the case? We had the case before. So over here, why do you need to go ahead and, and seal it all? Just seal part of it, right? So we see over here clearly that you have to go ahead and seal it all. If he doesn't go ahead and seal it, like Hayagam, that's a bemidik. Excuse me, Ilam Arach, like Hay. Right? If he goes ahead, he doesn't go ahead and seal it. It will not stay in place. It won't cover it. So Agav Chatzia bemidik the Hay Hay. So the the reason over there why he has to do a full hundred percent seal is because if he doesn't seal it, it's not going to stay in place. But in our case, if he does his own seal it, then he's only sealing partial, then uh, that uh, perhaps could be uh, considered to be stopping the tumor. The Amar Rava and Rava says, Hare Amar, they say, Gazel Chametz for Avalav Pesach. A person steals Chametz for Pesach. Amar Lo Hare Shalkalo Fenecha. He's allowed to go ahead and say, Hey, buddy, where's my Oreos you stole? You got to go ahead and return me $5. He says, no, I'll give you the exact same package that I stole. And here it is. And he is Yaitse, right? He's allowed to do that, even though now, technically, or it is worthless because it's Chametz Shalav or Lav Pesach. So by Rava, Rava asks a kash on this. Turn the page. Nishva Lav Mahu. Now, the person swears, I do not have your Oreos. So now let's go back. So a person normally cases of, of denial. So denial, you got to go ahead and back and pay the Karen. You got to pay the Chaymesh. You got to go ahead and, and, and bring a carbon. 
So we're gonna usher him. So over here, so he swears he doesn't have this the Oreos, right? Now technically are the Oreos now you have to steal something and deny something of value. So over here, is the Oreos considered to be something of value? So Lamai said Shavar La Pesach, so therefore it's really worth zero. So Nishba love Mahu, me and Marina, do we say Kevan di Migna of Boishlimile? Mamonika Kafirle. Do we say this? So let's say the guy is the Oreos and someone stole it from the thief, right? The guy took I took the Oreos from Mayer, mm-hmm. and now Mayer goes, You owe me, you stole Oreos, you gotta pay me back. And I said, yeah. right, and Thomas Shavar La Pesach, but I might say I gotta go ahead and okay, so I'll go to my house and I'll bring you back the Oreos. But let's say Avrami comes and steals my the Oreos from my house. So I don't have those to return it. So I have to return the Oreos. But now the Oreos I'm returning to you, or the money, is going to be the value from it from before Pesach. So there's actually a value to it. So even though, so the item itself is worth money to me. Why? Because if I don't return this to Mayer, even though they're worthless, then I'm going to have to pay out of pocket $5 to buy new Oreos. So do we say in this case when I'm denying and then later on I admitted I lied to Mayor, I said, no, no, I, I did stole. So Nishbalov, if I swear originally, he says, Mayor says, you stole my things. He makes a shvua that I didn't steal it. And then later on I admitted I lied. Right. So do we say me? I mean, in the beginning of it, if it was stolen from me, I would have to go ahead and pay it. So, I, so therefore, my money could cost it. And therefore, it's considered to be a denial of, of money. I do my perhaps, hash to me as Hamorach. Uh, the offer of or maybe Lamaisa now is just uh, you know it's sitting there, it's in my house, and it's worthless because uh, it's and therefore I didn't really deny anything of value. And if I make a shvua, a denial, I, then I admit I lied on something of worth less than a pruta, then I do not have to go ahead and bring Karen Khamish and Rasham. So Gora says, so he says, Milsa di Boy the Rabba, uh Pshitale the Rabbis. Something that was uh, even though it was a question to Rabba. Rabba, uh, Tim was Pasha. The Amar Rabba, Shari Ganafta. So, guys, says like this. Uh, Randy comes to me and he says, You stole my dog. Uh, even that's a shore, right? So, it's an ox, but you stole my dog. I'm going to bring it to 2024. So, stole Randy's dog. Who Oimar? And he says, Like Ganafti. He says, Oh, I didn't steal it. What are you talking about? So, he says, Ma Tivasacha. Okay, if that's the case, why is my dog or my short in your house. That's mine, right? It has all the same money. So I say, I didn't steal it, right? So now it's my denial over there, right? So I didn't say, I didn't, right? I, I didn't steal it. You told me to watch it for you for free, right? So Chayef, such a case, my Shavuot, even though Lamaisa, right? What, what I'm saying is I have to return you the animal because I'm watching it for you. I didn't, right? I'm not stealing it. I, I basically, I denied stealing it. I have it with permission. I have it. I'm doing you a favor. So now, if I stole the animal, if I stole Randy's shore and then it, the shore died, right? Or it got killed, right? So I would have to go ahead and pay for it because the ga- uh, a gazan is high for everything, right? Before returning it. So I can't blame, oh, uh, an accident happened and therefore your short died. No, no, no. I stole it in the first place. I got to pay Randy back, right? But if I was actually a Shemir Chidom and something, an accident happened to it, it died in the fire, so then I'd be potter. So my Shavu is actually a denial of, uh, 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 you know, it would be a denial in a situation of being obligated to pay. And therefore, that is considered to be a denial of financial benefit. Right, so he says, Because if the animal would have gotten stolen from me or lost, then I'd be chayet. Or let's say, say to Randy, Randy says, Hey, where is my ox? I said, Oh, uh, um, I didn't steal it to make sure. He says, Oh, that he lied. So what I wasn't doing by you. He says, Oh, I'm a shemir sachar. Right, you pay me to watch it on your love. Let's say it, 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 it uh, you know, broke, right? And it died. So therefore, I'd be putter uh, from that. If I was indeed a shemir. Or soccer, or shale, or let's say as Randy says, what's it doing? But he says, I borrowed it on your love. So I'm still be chai. Why? Because what is that? Why is that claim that I borrowed it from you as opposed to I stole it from you? Because chai share potter asked Because if I was going ahead and working the animal and it died, right, while plowing, so then I would be putter if Randy lent it to me, even though I didn't pay him for it, but he lent it to me to go ahead and plow, and I plowed with it and it died. Doing plowing, so they're on potter. But if I stole it and it died while plowing, I'll be chayim. Alma, 
even though it's Lamaisa to my house, right? And none of these cases happened, and I was, it wasn't stolen or it didn't die. The big that my mind cook off, or nevertheless, if it was stolen and it was in my house, nevertheless, I would have to go ahead and pay an ox, you know, the, the, the cost of an ox out of my pocket. Ashanami, the money cook off related. So, too, over here, uh, so, 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 so therefore, it's considered to be mamon that I am denying, and therefore, I would be chayev to go ahead and pay. So, Ashanami, I forgot to offer Biyama, even though that my denial of the chametz mm-hmm. is really worth value. That's who came on the big enough. Mm-hmm. Since if it would be stolen by Shlomo, I would have to go ahead and pay you for the full pack of Oreos. My money, my alia, it is considered to be a financial uh, denial to my benefit, which then would mean I would have to go ahead and pay the Karen Chaymesh and the Ash. And I should not be money could cover the So in our case, we'll say that it was, it was covered by the mouth. So Yasiv Rava the Kamala Shmaitza so um so Rava is it Rava Rabba uh is Aleph, right? Ah see some say uh uh right Rabba right fine. So uh Yasiv Rabba Kamala the Shmaitza so Ace there of Rabba the Rabba so it says the Kikesh Ba it says over there and he denied it. So we're talking about the cases of when a person is high for care and chemesh and the ashram when he denied it. So Prat Lamaita Be Iker. In other words, when a person is accused, let's say, of, of having the item. And he, it's a complete denial. So that's the case where he's high. But if he agrees to some of it or to part of it or to some of the allegation to the Iker, if he's made to part of the Iker, then he will be excluded from paying the Chaymesh. What would be a case of that? Basically, the case we just had. Sure, you to, if he says you stole my short, who am I going to No, 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 I didn't steal it. If that's the case, why is my short in your, in your barn? So you, you, uh, you sold it to me, or matana, or you gave it to me as a gift, or avicha or your father sold it to me, or avicha matana, or your father gave it to me as a gift. So or acher parasi rats, or maybe your your animal found its way in my pen because it chased uh, one of my cows, right? Rasmeilov uh, or Bosley, or it came on its own. So taya b'derech matzasi, or I was walking, I saw it, you know, just you know, lost, uh, you know, out, uh, you know, in the road, it was lost. Or Shemachino any, or I'm a free watchman. Ain a Shemachini I love. A Shemachsacher any I love, or I'm a paid watchman. A Shel any I love, or I'm a bower. The Nishba and all these he swears v'hoida, and then later on he says, you know what? I admit, right? That it was not. Uh, I was not a Shemachino, or you didn't give it to me or sell it to me. Yochel Yechai. You might think this is the type of thing where he made a shvua and then later on admits it, and now he's kai for Karen Chaimish v'yasham Tamalaymar. Therefore, it says he denies it. He denies the the, the 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 entire part of it. The iker problem the iker that would exclude if he's admitted to some part of it. So he says uh, tadura, right? So tadura. This is a, a new insult. If you guys want to go ahead and add it to your vocabulary, right? Uh, it means like uh, Rashi types as as ain leif, right? You're heartless, or it's like an insult. Like what are you talking about? Kitania he, but that was talking about a case. The Kamale, hey, look, that was talking about a case where the animal is in front of him. The reason why he's mighty because the animal is right here. Go ahead and take a back. <laughs> he came in, uh, but what was our, our question earlier? The Kaima Biagam, when he was in a marsh, when he's in a marsh, there is no partial, uh, perhaps no partial admission there because the animal is not here. He can't just say, here, go ahead and take a back. So Gaurav says, wait. We're talking about a case of over here where he admits to some of this. I understand. So what benefit does he say that let's say, mm-hmm. so as opposed to when he says, you have my ox. Right. And that, so a, a denial would be, I don't mm-hmm. have it. In other words, I don't owe you anything. If you say I have your ox and I say you sold it to me, that means I don't owe you anything. So why is this claim of I don't owe you anything, right? Any sort of admission. So my mode of So now let's start analyzing some of these cases from the Brisa, right? That we really didn't, you know, think about. So Ata Market leads to my mode of Ikarika. So Gwar says, no, let's read the Dhamma lay in the Sati the Khad Dame, Chaka Tarakha, the Zil. Now we're talking about the case of when I say basically, no, no, you sold it to me, and I actually I never paid for it. So here, take a back. So in other words, basically it's, uh, he's saying, here, go ahead and take a back. It's not a full denial. So what about the, this case? So Ati Satili. Uh, 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 so, so the Gemara says. So, what about the uh, the next case? When he says Adam Zati Li or Avicha Nasna Li, he says, okay, uh, you, either you gave it to me, your father gave it to me. In other words, I do not have to give it back to you. So my mother 
So Demerle, Almanaz, the Avina Lachon, Nech Nafsha. No, no, no. The deal was we would give it to you on a condition you do a certain thing. And you uh, you never did it, right? And therefore, Shak uh, Torah Vazil, right? I never did, you know, you the favor that I was supposed to do. And therefore, take your animal back. It's not a denial that this animal is not yours. So Taya, but there, if he says, hey, I found it. So I, why is that? Lema iboy lechala durli. So he says, if that's the case, he says I found it. So certainly, I said, go ahead and give it back. So I'm really, so isn't that denial? So I'm really, I'm really Shmuel. But yoy mer shvua aveda matzasi. He makes a shvua that I found the aveda. Blo ya ayisi yadeh she shachav exer and I didn't know it was yours. Right? I didn't know it was yours, and therefore that's not considered uh, to be a. Uh, uh, it's not considered to be a full. Uh, it, right? In other words, it would be considered to be a partial admission. So Tanya. Benazai, so says Benazai, so uh, if they don't have to leave by them, so you get to the five lines in the bottom to two dots over there. Time? All right. So, so Tanya, Amr Benazai, there's three types of shuas uh, when it comes to, let's say, a lost object. So he kirba, the Bemaitsiya. In other words, a guy denies, he says, hey, you have my lost objects, right? The halach is, the Torah states, if a guy has a lost object, he finds it. And they say, oh, I heard you found my item. And he makes a shua. I didn't, uh, you know, no, I didn't. I, I, he denied it. And then later on, he admitted, it. yes, I did. I, I did find it. Therefore, he has to be Karen of Chemish Vyasha. So in this case over here, there's another three types of categories. So he's Hikir Bavalei Bamotzea. He's, let's say he said he recognized the item. He saw it. He saw that it was stolen. He saw, oh, he knew someone had it, but he didn't know who was the one who found it. Or, wait, see ya. Or, below. Or he has a case of Bamotzea, below he so he says, or he talks about the case of where he knows who the finder is, but he didn't know what the object was. He heard someone found something. Or lo bov Or he says he doesn't know, right? Uh, he didn't know it was lost, right? Right? Then he didn't know uh, who found it. So he says, lo bov If that's the case, Then he swore honestly, right? If he swore that, right? Now if he really didn't know that it was lost and didn't know who found it, so then he's telling the truth. So aim above, let's see, no, no. Actually, where he knew it was lost, and he knew that the guy uh, did find it. So the Gemara says, "Lamai Hilch." So okay, so what are these three cases? So Rav Ami Amar Ravina Liftor. Now it's all these three cases are that. Uh, in other words, this case that he is putter from a Shvua. Shmuel Amar Lechayev, and Shmuel says he's Chayev. Now in this case over here, right, he's not the one necessarily with the lost object. Right, he's basically uh, talking about knowing, having information about someone else doing. It. So even though technically he can't return the item, but perhaps mm -hmm. had he told the truth, and now you have a witness to say that someone had it, or so therefore that witness could have helped for him to go ahead and perhaps get the money from the uh, or the item from the finder. So therefore, perhaps him his lying really hurt the person who lost it, put him in a bad position. So there, but never, so Shmuel says he's high because of that. But Rab said, uh, Rabbi Ami says the name of Rechadina, that he's putter because technically he wasn't the one who had the objects. The Mar says, we're close to the end tonight. And it's in my chalagis in this case. The time of the Nebrais, Hamashpia, Eid Echad. So let's say a similar case, a person's involved in a uh, 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 also litigation. He wants him to go ahead and, uh, and, and testify as, as, as a witness. And he swears he doesn't know. And then uh, then turns out he was lying. So putter, he is putter. So what's the machlei? It's not the machlei. What's the machlei? There's a mar saver davar agur the mamon kamamon dami. One holds the one who says that he's chayiv, which should be Rebbe Elazar Rebbe Shimon. So he says uh, you would be chayiv. Why is that? Um, you be chayiv because since you helped cause him to lose out in this case because you didn't testify, right? Perhaps he could have won the case. So therefore. Now you're a chayv. You caused the damage to the money. Umar severed lakum amandami. Since he wasn't the one that he was uh, uh, against, he didn't directly cause the money. And therefore, in this case, uh, he would not be chayv to go ahead and pay in such a case. And Abba Rav Sheshes says, Rav Sheshes, HaKavr Bikadon, one who goes ahead and denies a Bikadon, right? The, you go ahead and you, you deposit something by me. He says, okay, you came back from your trip. Can I please have it back? I said, never had it. So Nasala of Gaza, now I'm like a Gaza because if you gave me to watch it and I denied having it, so now I still have it. It's like I stole it from you. But Chayv ain't, and therefore I'd be Chayv. And this happens to it, I would be obligated to go ahead and pay. Uh, had I, uh, you know, had I would have just said, hey, yeah, I have your Pikadim, I'll return to you next week. And then an Aynis happens, I would be Pater. But since I denied it, I'm now like a Gaza and a Chayv ain't. But Tanik to him, and there we said, it says that he denies it, so I love the Aynis. 
So we know the Onash, they want to deny it. It's time to go ahead and pay for everything, even Einstein. So, Azar Menai, so where is a person warned for this in the Torah? So, Tamalaymar, like Tichasha, it says, you should not go ahead and, uh, you know, and, and lie and deny false, right? Uh, and, and a lie. So, my love, the Einish Bikfir, is this not just we're referring to when he denies it, not even a Shvua? So, where is it low? The Einish Shvua. It's the only time if he makes a Shvua and then admits that a Shvua was a lie, then he's high. But if he just denies it, then he's not a Gazan yet. So, Warren says, wait. How many times he's safer? But the safest time in a case of a shvua. And so, and if that's the case, it must be that the Rish is not talking about a shvua. Now, what's the case of the safer? The Tani says, it says, it says, it says, it says, it says, and he, and he's, and he swore, already, he, he made a false promise. And therefore, then he, and he admits he's chai. So they know Irish. Then we know the, 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 the uh, we, we know the punishment. So, so where is the warning? So, Tom Alemar, it says, it says, you should not lie. Um, it is safe from the the ishba the ishdaba. So by the fact that the safe is talking about a case where he made a shvua, it must be that the reisha the reisha is talking about the ishdaba where he did not go ahead and make a shvua. So the says no. I mean, they said no. Either the ishdaba really he did go ahead and make a shvua. And Khan shahida one is the case where he went ahead and he admitted it afterwards. And as he made both cases made a shvua. So one is the case where he made the shvua and then later on he admitted it. And Khan shabo eden witnesses come. Uh, so also, when witnesses come, they testify again, then he's Chayi Ba'ayin However, I do, I do, Chayi Ba'keren V'chaymash Aviyash. You know, it's only in the case of when witnesses come. When witnesses come, right. he doesn't go ahead and, and bring an Ashram, right? Because he's still in denial. He doesn't go ahead and bring a, a carbon for atonement if he's still in denial. He didn't admit to it. It's only when a case of when he admits to it with the Shvua, that's when it's Chayi Ba'keren V'chaymash in the Ashram. But if he would stay in denial, and even witnesses said, "No, we saw you take it, or we saw you do it," you know that you that you had it by you. So then he's chayv einzin as a gazlan, but he would not be uh, get chayv the karen chemish in the. All right, we'll stop here. The two dots. Tomorrow, it's Hashem. We will go ahead and continue on.